Hey guys, so I know I've been gone for a while, but today I have an awesome video that I think you guys are all gonna love. We're gonna make an easy glitter window jar, so let's jump right into it. All right, so what you're gonna need for this project is some type of jar. I'm gonna use a candle jar. I'm gonna peel this off, then I'm gonna wash it with soap and water, and to get any little residue that's left on there from like the stickiness of the tag, I'm just gonna use some Goo Gone, thank you Dollar Tree, and get that off so it'll be just a perfectly plain canvas to work with. You'll also want wax paper, some painter's tape, a paintbrush, you'll need Mod Podge, and I'm going to use the gloss one just because I like a little bit of extra shine, your glitter, you'll need scissors, and you don't need need this, but I'm going to use a heart template. You can just freehand it, or you can use one something else that you like or print one off that you like. And then I like to have a piece of cardstock just because it makes it a little easier to get the glitter back into the container after it's all done. Let me real quick give you an overview of everything I just mentioned. Okay, so once you have your jar all cleaned off, then their next step is gonna be with your wax paper. You're just gonna need a small little bit, depending on how big you want your um, cutout. And markers and stuff aren't gonna write real well on this. You're not gonna see a lot of the pencil, so you do kinda wanna go over it multiple times. So here you can see it's just a very light pencil tracing. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna end up cutting two of those out. And I'm kind of using the light to be able to see the pencil tracings. I want the shapes to be the same on either side of the glass, so that's why I'm just holding the wax paper together and cutting out two at once. All right, so now we have our two wax paper hearts. This is gonna be like the back part of the sticker. So next I'm going to go ahead and put some painter's tape on them. Let me show you how I do that. I'm gonna start by a couple small pieces. And as I go, they're gonna get a little taller or a little longer and I'm gonna layer over each other so there's no gap in the tape. So you can see as you look through that I have the pieces of tape overlapping and that's holding, helping hold it all together but it's also gonna help so that nothing bleeds through when we do our next part. Now I'm going to cut so that I have only the painter's tape in that shape and then we can peel the wax paper off and we'll be left with a heart. So I've left a little bit on attached here and I'm gonna peel it, but then I'm going to move the peel up a little bit and lay the corner back down and cut it. And this way when I'm all done, I can easily peel off my shape like a sticker and it's ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get this placed. And I'm gonna press it down pretty good and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the other side. All right, step one complete. Now we're gonna put some Mod Podge on this sucker. So you can put your Mod Podge in a little container, but I usually just use it right out of this one. I don't like to make a second one dirty. Oh, goodness gracious. But the downside is it does get a little bit uh, sticky on the duck. Oh, one last thing. I'm gonna put some painter's tape around the very top here, this edge. So I'm gonna come off of the painter's tape. I try and work relatively quickly with this because I don't want the Mod Patch to dry. You can also use a sponge brush. And I try to go back over and make everything as like same direction and even as possible. So here's my glitter and I'm just going to use a silver one. This one is from Walmart if I remember right. And I'm gonna sprinkle all over and I try to sprinkle over the cardstock so then it's easier to clean up in the end and I am NOT careful about the amount of glitter I use I just go for it I've gotten my glitter from just about everywhere I usually get it mostly from Walmart because that's the cheapest that I have found I'm not gonna do a second layer I am gonna remove the blue tape though because I don't the painters tape because I don't want it to end up drying and then pulling off little bits along the edges so all right 
So while that sets and dries, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup. I've given it time to dry and now what I'm going to do to seal all the glitter in is I'm going to go back into my Mod Podge and I'm going to put a second layer over the top of everything. I'm using the gloss because I want to keep that little shine. I don't want it to be matte and have that flat finish. If you wanted to do a second layer of glitter, you could definitely go over with the Mod Podge and then sprinkle with glitter and then wait for it to dry again and go back over to seal it all in. There's also several sprays you can use if you'd rather do it that way, but I wanna keep my hearts clear. Right guys, here's our final piece. You could use it as your centerpiece. You could use it with the centerpiece. You could use this as a vase or throw a candle inside. You could use it as a makeup brush holder or really anything you could think of. I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to do another video again with you guys. Until then, bye-bye.